Hi everyone, I'm coming to you from the Mayborn Collections. Today I'm talking to you about our bird collection. This is the drawer of the day. So all of these guys here belong to the order Passeriformes. They actually hold 50% of the total species of all birds. So I pulled a few that I really wanted you to see and I picked this drawer because I love the vivid colors and most of these guys you'll actually find in your backyard. So first what I wanna to talk to you about is Cardinal. So as you can see, bright red, you're used to seeing these guys. And when I say guys, I mean guys because the red ones are male. Also Cardinal, if you see a brown one with just slight variations of red, this is a female. So this is known as sexual dimorphism. Another one that's in the neighborhood, one of my personal favorites, this is a painted bunting. So you'll see there's vivid blues, greens, browns, and a bright red belly. And then also a bunting. This is an indigo bunting, aptly named for its color. So you can see these bright blue feathers. And then the last guy I want to show you, this is a tanager, a scarlet tanager. So do you see this bright, bright red, almost vivid orange color? It's just gorgeous. So also in this collection, but not native to Texas, you won't find these guys in your backyard. This row right here is from Brazil. So this is a Brazilian tanager. If we compare it to our local tanager, you can see general size and shape is the same, but the color variation, very different. And then these two guys here, these are itty bitty little bee creepers. You can see we've got bright blue colors on the head and the belly. See the beak. And also a bee creeper, this guy, different blue, almost turquoise in color. So I wanted to show you this drawer of the day because I wanted to illustrate how our collection is used. So this has been in the museum for quite some time and researchers use them for a plethora of reasons. So they may be using these birds to look at color variation over time. They may be using it to look at geographic variation and the way the birds have changed. They may be using it for population studies to, to see how far the birds have spread out over time. Really, it's there are boundless ways they can use the bird collection. So just wanted to give you a chance to, to see one of my favorite drawers and um, I hope to see you soon.